My name is James Micklethwaite. I'm VP of Kahoot at Work, and uh, I'd like to just jump straight in right now uh, and uh, let's get going uh, with the presentation. So, first of all, there's a lot of talk about engagement, and it means many things to different people. Perhaps you feel uh, that uh, too many companies talk about engagement, and uh, there may be uh, it's it's a little bit overused. Uh, so, I wanted to just share with you a short video which shows you what we at Kahoot believe engagement is. Okay, so there we go. All those smiling faces in all those different settings. That's what we think engagement looks like. And with 40 million participants uh, and pinning into some kind of Kahoot session over the last year, that's a lot of engagement. Okay, so let's jump in. I want to... Now, um, I've been working at Kahoot for six years now, and uh, every time I talk to our customers and, and users of Kahoot, I'm always struck by the amazing insights and incredibly creative ways that they use Kahoot. Uh, so what I'd like to do with you today is kick off by sharing six secrets, you could say, about Kahoot, because uh, on the other hand, when I talk to people who are not so familiar with the product, uh, everyone thinks, oh, Kahoot, I know Kahoot, it's a quiz. And of course, it is a quiz, and it's the world's best quiz at that, but it is so much more. So I'm just going to quickly talk you through these six slightly interesting and new and different ways that you might not be aware of, of uh, engaging audiences with Kahoot. So let's jump right in. Secret number one. Kahoot engages the whole audience. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Well, it means literally exactly what I say. It doesn't matter who it is, Kahoot can engage that audience. So uh, often people think of Kahoot uh, in an office setting uh, with desk workers, but no, as you can see on the left-hand side, uh, more than half of our customers say they use Kahoot to engage non-desk workers, like in retail in the picture, for example. So really it can be used uh, for, for the entire workforce, not just for knowledge workers. Kahoot can also be used for older users and younger users like Gen Z, for example. We've had reports from customers of a standing ovation for using Kahoot for very dry topics like uh, um, insurance risk management. Uh, but on the other hand, we have a very special relationship with Gen Z. We recently commissioned a survey. I'll tell you a little bit more about that next. Uh, but we found that an astonishing 82% of Gen Z in the United States have used Kahoot before at school, at higher education or at work. So they already have an incredible connection with Kahoot. And finally, it doesn't matter what department you're in. You could see uh, from this group here, you're from many different departments. The truth is uh, many of our audiences are learning specialists in learning and development, 30%, but that also means that 70% are not. So it's, it's teams and presenters in all functions, marketing, sales, operations, HR, learning and development, customer care, you name it, Kahoot is used in all those settings. So you really should take away from this that uh, you should see absolutely no boundaries for where Kahoot can be used to engage an audience. I talked briefly about the Gen Z research. Uh, it's brand new and it's yours for free. If you follow this link, we'll be sending this link also um, uh, in the email following this event. So no need to write that down. But a couple of headlines for you right now uh, um, to pique at some interest. 
The standout insight from the research we commissioned amongst the Gen Z workforce was an astonishingly high level of social anxiety at work. Now, there's a bunch of reasons for this, and you'll need to read the report to dig into this a little bit more. But uh, the take out from my point of view for employers is that this needs to be taken seriously and that employers need to think about how they can support Gen Z. When we asked Gen Z what support they want, the number one reason was a training specifically in the area of soft skills with 42% stating that was their number one priority. So support is necessary. And also we of course believe that the way you deliver that training and indeed the way you communicate uh, with workers like Gen Z workers needs to be appropriate. It needs to be safe. It needs to be have the right tone and it needs to be interactive. So that's why we feel Kahoot has a particular role to play with Gen Z and indeed with all audiences. Next, the second secret, Kahoot makes it stick. What do I mean by that? Well, um, you can see from the quote here from Tony, uh, from one of our customers over in the UK, um, this is uh, making it stick is another way of saying that Kahoot helps beat the forgetting curve. Now, I know many of you are L&D professionals, so you'll know exactly what that is. But for those of you who aren't aware of what the forgetting curve is, um, it's a piece of research that shows that we forget almost everything, uh, a new information that we hear within seven days, unless we take action. And taking action, there are many ways you can take uh, action which commit information to memory. One of those uh, is asking the brain to retrieve that information. And that is why so many of our customers use Kahoot and they use that famous quiz to both review and reinforce key takeaways because it commits information and makes it stick. Now, Gally's already demoed this slide, uh, um, uh, this feature, but um, relatively recently, we launched a feature called Slide Reactions. And I wanted to highlight this because again, many people don't know that within a single experience, uh, you can combine slides and it doesn't matter whether you create them in Kahoot or whether you import them from PowerPoint, both are possible with interactivity like quiz and discussion questions. And the reason why we've made this possible is because based on customer feedback, we know that slides kill engagement. It's that simple. Uh, if you talk for too long, engagement dips. And so it's great to mix up slides and interactivity. And it's now possible to do that in, with uh, on the Kahoot platform. And in addition, with slide reactions now, even the slides are not completely passive. And there's an opportunity for your audience to interact, show their appreciation, and for you as a presenter also to carry out uh, spontaneous polls on the fly by using the emojis and asking the audience to react. Next up, secret number three, Kahoot enables two-way communication in any setting. So once again, Gali has already touched on uh, some of the use cases, but this is an overview, if you like, of many of the use cases you'll be hearing later. You'll see a common theme here around training, which won't surprise you, given again the results of the Kahoot. Every type of training is you, Kahoot's used in, but there are many other use cases as well that you'll see that go way beyond training, more informal settings, presentations, retrospectives, and brainstorms. And the one in particular I wanted to, uh, uh, to highlight um, is for those use cases like all hands meetings and retrospectives, it's not just about asking questions and making it stick, it's about gathering input from the audience at the same time. You've already done this already on this session, so you're aware of that but that is super important to give your audience a voice and not simply uh, to uh, transmit information and then ask questions about that information. I'm very excited also uh, to, uh, to tell you that coming very soon, it's gonna be easier than ever to gather that audience input spontaneously in meetings. Uh, we're calling uh, this quick sessions uh, and it'll be coming soon in the coming months. What you'll be able to do as uh, this slide shows is from the Kahoot platform, you'll simply click one button to instantly fire up a Kahoot session. You'll be able to enter your question and start uh, um, a, uh, a, an experience straight away. So what the problem we're trying to solve here is avoiding the need to create a Kahoot, save it, and then launch it separately, but just spontaneously and quickly gather audience imp imp impact, run a brainstorm or gather ideas. Secret number four, Kahoot makes training engaging anytime and anywhere. 
So, uh, of course, many of you will be aware that Kahoot began as a live and in-person experience, as is shown on the left. Uh, and it's a human experience uh, that is absolutely fantastic when everybody's in the room at the same time. Then the pandemic came along and it showed us, turned everything on its head and almost all our usage uh, completely pivoted to being uh, either purely remote or hybrid. And the fantastic thing about that experience is it showed just how well the product translates to a video conferencing context like we're doing right now. But the secret I want to share with you in this area is that many people are still not aware that Kahoot can be used in a self-paced way either individual sessions or now increasingly for courses as well. So it really is possible now to deliver every type of training to any employee in any way that you want. Let me talk a little bit more about our training courses. If you haven't had a chance uh, to try them out, they've been live for some time and we've invested a huge amount over the last couple of years in making what we believe are the world's most engaging training courses. Uh, this year, we launched a brand new content format that we call Story. You can see that scrolling vertically in the mobile phone on the right hand side of the mock up here. This is quite simply a micro learning content format that allows you to uh, very, very uh, succinctly uh, impart information. And then you can combine that with other modules in the video uh, in the course like video, audio. You can now add certificates to your course as well. And you can also, of course, add Kahoot quizzes to your course at the same time. So taking all of that together, that's why we believe that we've got the most engaging courses content format in the world. Now, once you start using Kahoot for courses and uh, you start administering, many of you, those of you in LD will know, delivering this at scale, things start to get complicated quite quickly. Not least, you need to be able to uh, manage quite a large list of employees that's ever changing as people onboard and offboard inside an organization. And so that's why I'm very excited to share with you our latest offering from Kahoot, which is called Kahoot 360 Engage. This includes uh, many of the features and functionality that you would expect from a learning management system, but it's much, much more than that because it's Kahoot. As well as offering that, it in addition enables two-way communication, uh, both self-paced and of course live like we're doing today, allowing you to push stories with company updates, for example, to workers who are harder to reach like non-desk workers on the right-hand side of the screen there. In addition, it, creates productivity, it includes productivity tools like task management, so you can really make sure that the content that you're communicating is also translated into action as well. And finally, every employee gets what we call an engagement toolbox. This is a toolkit that allows them, it gives them a license to present or assign content that exists in the shared company library to any of their colleagues at any time. So they can really contribute to engagement and share knowledge as part of their role. All of this is for uh, from $5 per employee per month. And we're very excited to be rolling this out right now. Secret number five, Kahoot builds team spirit. I think we've already seen that uh, in the uh, brilliant icebreaker that Gally uh, conducted at the beginning of this session. From this quote, I won't read it out here, but it shows that many of our customers use Kahoot not just as a side effect of building team spirit, but actually primarily for that reason. For parties, for town halls, uh, it's it simply brings people together, the friendly competition, and that is fantastic. So we, we celebrate that fact. It's great that the it's used in that way. But what's also amazing is that you get these benefits when you use it for a different use case with a, a very different and specific objective like training or uh, internal communication. But uh, there's no debate that Kahoot builds team spirit unlike any other learning product uh, in the world. A couple of secrets to highlight uh, with you specifically. Did you know about Kahoot team mode? We're not using it today simply because uh, we want to establish a single winner for Galley's prizes. But um, every time you click present with Kahoot, you can see team mode on the right hand side here. That allows you to split your participants. This is great for larger sessions into teams. So imagine at an all hands meeting, for example, you can have the marketing team fighting for the top place on the podium against the sales team, against the engineering team, against the finance team uh, for the big prize at the end of an all hands meeting. It's super engaging. 
And even more, if you uh, expand the other game mode options, these are all relatively new and uh, extremely engaging uh, formats, some of which um, have a team mode component as well. So I'd really encourage you just to try these out. They're available to you today. Color Kingdoms, I'm going to give a specific call out because it's another team versus team kind of strategy mode where the teams answer questions uh, to try and take over the board and beat the other, other team. So really exciting and different ways to experience Kahoot. Check them out today. And finally, secret number six, so Kahoot saves trainers time and money. So part of the Kahoot experience uh, is, is, of course, about creating, is also about presenting or assigning, and for participants is joining a session. Uh, we've done all of those things to make uh, today's session happen that Gally uh, launched earlier. We've launched lots of new innovations over the years, like the QR code, which you may have used to join. And it's just so easy for a presenter or a trainer to uh, onboard a crowd into a presentation, up to 2,000 people, or to simply take a link and assign it via email to 10, up to 10,000 employees in one single session. So it's very easy on that side, but we are aware that the area that takes most time is the creation of content. And the one message I want to leave behind with you that it's, is that it's now no longer necessary to start from scratch with Kahoot. You may be aware that some time ago in the summer, we launched an AI-assisted uh, Kahoot creator that we call the question generator. It's possible now uh, to type in any topic and uh, have our AI question generator suggest questions for you. This is not about having AI write your content. That's not what it's for. It's about reducing your time to first draft. You choose what the content is right and you quality control it. So there's no question about that, but it's a real time saver. And just recently, it started off with multiple choice quiz questions. It now includes other question types as well. So that's great for topics like leadership, communication, and project management, where there's a lot of content out there and best practice out there on the internet. But what I hear you say, what if I want to create a Kahoot using AI with content that's private to my organization? Well, we've got something in the works that I think you're going to be very excited about if you're thinking that. It will soon be possible in the coming months to open the question generator, just as you're seeing now as normal. But instead of typing a topic like this, you'll be able to upload a file, a PDF. So let's imagine in, in this example, I want to actually create an engaging learning experience that's based on my annual company report. So I upload the PDF, it's imported into Kahoot. I select the pages that I think are relevant uh, for this. And then, you know, maybe it's a, in, if you want to engage your employees in an all hands meeting, for example, um, I you just create a Kahoot on your annual report and straight away, the AI is proposing questions for you. You can add them and you've created a Kahoot right there. So much, uh, I think this is extremely useful uh, for L&D teams with internal content that's not necessarily available on the internet, but it really shows how we're working hard uh, to save our trainers time and make it easier and faster than ever to create Kahoots. And my colleague Christian will show you how you can also create courses with AI as well and save time in that respect as well. So six secrets you now know about Kahoot. I really hope you've learned something new over the last few minutes about Kahoot. Uh, and I really encourage you to try out uh, all of the features uh, that I recommended. The magic is not in any of these individually. Uh, as we see it, the magic is in the combination of these. And the great thing about the Kahoot platform is uh, you can do all of these things uh, simply by using Kahoot. The sky is the limit. So finally, I'm going to close now, and I'm just very pleased today to be able to share this offer with you. If you liked what you saw in the presentation just now, or if you like what you see in what's coming up, everything you see today, both current features and coming up, are available in these plans. If you're an individual and you just want to try one license, then Kahoot 360 Pro Max is the plan for you. But if you're ready to roll this out inside your teams, uh, then uh, Spirit Premium is the best plan for you. And in particular, we have a fantastic deal on that right now. So it's been a real pleasure to kick off today's proceedings with you. I'm now going to hand back to Gally and wish you a very, very engaging work meetup. Back to you, Gally. Thank you.